Yo, what's going on out there everybody? My name is Rolizi and welcome back to another video of mine here on my channel. Now guys, right now this is just an informational video but I really wanted to go over the money glitches and the situations and uh, some problems that you guys uh, might be having and working money glitches, upcoming new money glitches, things like that, okay? So this is a really good video, please just stay and watch it, you know, you won't regret it. There's something in here for everybody, alright? So, uh, yeah, first off, what I wanted to just say is thank you to everybody, man. We have finally hit 5,000 subscribers. It's only taken like four months, man. I can't believe it. If you go back to like my original video, I'm pretty sure it was about four months ago. We've already hit 5K. That is amazing. Uh, you know, in the chat, guys, go ahead and start hashtagging road to 10K. That is our next goal, all right? We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers starting today really starting last night it happened last night but thank you once again to everybody all right but let's get on with the money glitches so at the moment last night I posted a Sultan duplication glitch it's a new method to actually duplicate the Sultans and it's way better because you don't have to use God mode or anything like that uh, but the thing is there are some issues people are having the issue of you know they don't know which car to use guys it's called the Sultan duplication glitch for a reason because the Sultan du the Sultan is the best car to use because it sells for the most Obviously, LG Retro sell for a lot, but the LG Retro doesn't work for that glitch, so we named it the Sultan Dupe glitch. Now, there's only two other cars that we know of for sure that work, and I've actually done it with both these cars, so I can confirm that. That is the Custom Donk and the Slam Van. All right, so if you want to use those vehicles, you can as well, but the Sultan RS will sell for the most, so take it to Benny's, fully upgrade it, and that's what you're going to want to use. So, the part with the uh, the oppressor, I had a few people tell me that they were overriding their oppressors and they were losing them. The reason you're overriding your oppressor is because when you go to change the plate on that Sultan that's in the vehicle workshop, whatever the last vehicle you had out on the map, that's what's going to be overridden. So that's why we drive our, so we're driving the oppressor in there so that the, uh, the Sultan doesn't despawn out of the vehicle workshop. That's the workaround for that patch that they put where it despawns. So when you return the oppressor to storage, you don't just hop in the sold and then go ahead and change the plate. You're gonna lose your oppressor that way. You have to call up Moore's Mutual and make a claim for one of those blown up uh, Fagios or Elegies. And when you do that, that Fagio or Elegy spawns at Moore's Mutual at the actual insurance company on the map. And when that happens, you go ahead and you change the plate or the color on the Sultan, and then that car gets overridden, or that vehicle that you made a claim for, uh, you know, for Moore's Mutual gets overridden, and that becomes a Sultan. If you're overriding your oppressors, that's because you're not making a claim before you change the plate. You must make a claim on a vehicle, call up Moore's Mutual, make a claim on a blown up faggy or elegy, and then you're good. Okay? The other issue is people's dupes are disappearing. All right, if your dupes are disappearing in the uh, in the MOC, you know, vehicle workshop and stuff like that, the reason they're disappearing is because in a public lobby, if somebody enters their MOC or exits it, then that dupe disappears. The game detects that there's somebody else in their MOC, and that's why it disappears. That's part of an old patch. So to avoid this, what I would recommend is if you're on Xbox, super easy. Once you get your Sultan stacks, go ahead and do the solo public lobby glitch so that you are the last one in the session and the only one in the session and you will be safe, all right? That's the best thing to do. Uh, PlayStation, there is a solo public lobby glitch as well. I'll try to put everything down in the pinned comment for you guys, all right? All the information that you guys need. Now, some awesome stuff happening. We have a new duplication glitch found by the guys in Fart Crew, man, the crew that I'm part of. They have found a new duplication glitch that will allow you to duplicate any car in the game. All right, so guess what that means? Did you guys notice the uh, the gameplay? We have an LG Retro Custom I'm driving around in. I haven't driven this exact car around. This is the exact car I used to use to duplicate retros back in the day. I've had hundreds of these cars right here. This exact you know type. So we will be able to duplicate cars again, any car we want. I highly recommend the LG Retro Custom. This is the vehicle and you're gonna see why. Uh, so what you wanna do if you don't have one of these, grab a free LG from, you know, from the website, from Legendary Motorsport. You come here to Benny's and you actually do the full upgrade, all right? Fully upgrade it and then just literally do the, do the big upgrade, it's like almost a mil, and then do every single upgrade you can find at Benny's. Literally upgrade it to the max. And you will see, this car is worth $973,000. It's almost a mil. 
I love this car. I always kept one of these at least because I knew we'd get another retro glitch back and we finally will have one. It's either going to be coming out tomorrow night or sometime in the weekend is my prediction. Now, from the words I hear from other people, it's going to be a super easy glitch, pretty easy. You know, it's not like even intermediate or anything. It should be pretty easy. I think it will be two player. I don't believe it's solo, but still we're going to be able to duplicate retros again. That's the best part. Uh, you can dupe any car. This is the best one to use. And uh, yeah, those are the release dates. And um, one other thing, I just want to let you guys know every money glitch that is working right now so you can take advantage because we got that December DLC coming. Uh, obviously, the Sultan glitch that I posted last night is still working. I'll leave a link down in the pinned comment for that. Uh, the other glitch, Give Cross to Friends, is working, but I need to make an updated video on that. And the AFK capture jobs for Xbox and PS4 are all still working. All right? But that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You know, drop a like down on this video. Turn post notifications on for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. And I'm out.